Hey guys, how's it going? Just a very quick video today just to let you know what I've been up to. Um, I've just put down a, uh, a brew. It's using a Cooper's Draft kit and to that I've added 100 grams of Cara Munich malt that's been steeped in boiling water. And apart from that I've just used the kit yeast. So it's a very, very basic brew, um, just basically doing a bit of experimentation and uh, seeing how it all turns out. So what I've done is I, I brewed it up to 11 litres, so I haven't added any extra dry malt extract or dextrose or anything. And I've left, I've, I mixed it up to 11 litres in the pail here, and then I've transferred um, two lots over into these two litre bottles. There's four litres in the bottles and the remaining seven litres is in the pail. Now the bottles here, this is a bit of an experiment and it could go horribly wrong, but I just wanted to see what would happen. It's, you know, I'm not expecting anything fantastic to come out of this. So what I'm doing is I'm basically brewing in these two litre bottles. So I've transferred the, the wort into the bottles and then I've um, split the yeast, um, I've put half of a 7 gram um, ale yeast into the pail and then I've put the remaining approximately uh, just under 2 grams of yeast into each of these bottles here. I've left the caps on, they're on but they're loose so that'll let the um, CO2 gas that's produced escape and then what I'll do is after three days because yeast needs oxygen in the first um, actually I'll probably do it for four days three to four days yeast needs um, oxygen to multiply and then after that it's it's actually goes into an anaerobic state where it doesn't need oxygen um, to uh, produce alcohol and, and create the CO2 gas so what I'll do is I'll leave the lids on loosely for probably four days and then I'll tighten them down on the fourth day and then I'll just keep checking the bottles for pressure and if, if they're becoming too um, pressurized I'll just undo the cap slightly and let a little bit of CO2 out. Now the whole idea or part of my experiment is to see whether um, I can brew in the bottle, uh, carbonate, um, sort of all in one go and just see what happens at the end, you know. If it all goes horribly wrong, well so be it, but I'm, you know, I'm just try an experiment basically. I haven't seen anyone else doing this on uh, YouTube or Google so it'll be interesting to see what happens. So uh, let me know your thoughts if, uh, if you think it's going to be a complete disaster. Um, I understand there's going to be you know crowds in line will, will develop in the bottles and also there'll be sediment down the bottom. But I just want to see what happens you know uh, in a week's time do you have a carbonated beer that you can drink straight from the bottle or do you just have some horrible mess? Uh, but anyway, we'll see. If it all goes wrong, I've still got my original um, 7 litres small batch in the um, pail here. Um, the other thing I'm going to do with this is um, I'm going to dry hop it in um, probably 4 days with some Centennial hops just to add a bit of um, aroma and flavour. Yeah, so that's it. That's what I've been up to. If you've got any comments or questions, just uh, feel free to let me know. I actually, I've just done a hydrometer reading. So it's... Uh, can't see it there, but it was sitting bang on 105.0. Um, so I worked it out. It's going to be slightly over 5% alcohol by volume for the, uh, for the brew. So yeah, stay, stay tuned. Um, I'll do another video. Um, well, I'll do another video in about a week to let you know how the, the bottle experiment went and then I'll do a further um, uh, video on the finished product out of the pail but that won't be for probably another three or four weeks at least so yes, yeah, so stay tuned and uh, yeah, wish me luck and I've got my fingers crossed that this uh, experiment works out okay, cheers guys, thanks